Hi everyone, Colleen here. I just wanted to share a little project with you today. I call it my sunset card. Um, it's really easy to make. It's using this stamp set, No Worries Scrapbooking one. Just the trees and the birds. I just really love this one. Um, it's very easy to make. The card itself is a... Um, I don't know what it's called. Anyway, it's, it sits that way when it's up. But that's the card today. Um, the card measures four inches. I've actually cut it out of cardstock because when I cut the cardstock, I like to be able to get at least three cards out of it. So by coming in by a quarter of an inch, I managed to end up with one card that goes this way and two that go this way. So this is scored at five and a half inches and these are scored at four inches so that I end up with um, three cards instead of just two out of the cardstock. So with this one here, you will need a piece of the No Worries paper, which measures four inches by two and a half. You'll need a piece of the sapphire, which measures one inch by four inches. You will need a piece of paper or the zip strip if you've got it handy, and that measures um, half an inch by four inches. You'll need a piece of desert sand, which measures um, uh, two inches no, three inches, excuse me, just one minute. Three inches by four inches. And then the paper itself, you need to cut two of these and they will measure two and three quarters by three and three quarters to go onto the top. And then I've already taken the second one and I've already cut a two and a half inch circle out of it using our basic thin cut circles. And that's it there. So I'll put that one away for something else. And what we're going to do with this one so I'll move all this aside for the minute. Oh, and we're going to stamp our happy birthday using the Hooked On You stamp set, which is my favourite birthday greeting. So what we're going to do here is take a post-it note, and we're going to put that across. We'll work out where we want it to go. Probably there. So I'll follow this line here across. So from there to there. And that will be for the blue on the card. Now you just add a tiny little bit of um, double-sided uh, your adhesive, and you're going to place that onto the card. That'll stop it from moving while you're working on it and keeping it in the right spot. Now the inks we're using today are saffron, sorbet, and sapphire. I picked all the S's out. So our first one we're going to use is our saffron, and we're using a dauber. And just right here, we're going to just stamp a big circle, and then we're just gently going to go around that, like so. Just swirl around. That's all you need to do, and put that aside, because you'll need that again after. Then we're using a sponge, and we're using the sorbet next. And we're just going to go around the edge so just to fill in this section here. And you just keep going round and round, making it as dark as you like. It doesn't need to be too dark because you it's just a background texture for the card. And just go over the sun a bit. This will dry a much lighter colour. Right, so now that's done, we'll put that aside. Now we're going to pull all this off, take that off of there, and we're going to turn the card around and we're going to place this back on to the bottom half of the circle, lining up those that edge. Can you see that? So we'll line that up, and then we'll place our circle back onto the top. And line all that back up. There we are. So now we're going to take the sapphire ink and we're just going to just add that bit of colour to this section of the card. And then we're going to take a bit of our, turn it around, and where you've got that, see the, the part there? You're just going to add a little bit of yellow 
and that gives it that look of the sun on the water. Let me peel all that off. And there you have your sunset on your card. So it is quite an easy thing to do. Now we're just going to take our palm trees. Oh, if you've got a bit of the you just need to just rub off the any extra glue with your uh, rub and remove. And then we're just going to ink up the trees. Now I've already done this once before because I forgot to put this underneath. So you need to make sure that you've got something underneath so you get a better coverage because I didn't and it upset me as you can see. And it was such a good circle. Anyway, so we're doing it again. So now that I've got that there, we shall just lay our tree onto here and give it a good firm press down. One, two, three. Good coverage, that's lovely. And you can still see the sun through the leaves. And we're also going to be using the little birds, which I think are just so cute. Just ink them up and then they are just going to be flying just there like that. How cool does that look? So now uh, we shall take the bottom half of our paper and we're going to ink up the happy birthday, which I, I just love this one. As you can see, it's very stained from where I've used it so often. We're just going to place that there. And there's our happy birthday on our card. Now I'll shut all the inks up before I end up wearing them. Now we shall put the card together. It's a very quick, very easy little card, this one. So first off is our paper onto the bottom. Next is the blue sapphire piece. Then comes the little strip. Then we're going to attach our desert sand piece. This is this card's actually a group of cards that I made. There was a, a lady at one of my classes who didn't wasn't into scrapbooking, but she'd bought the kit and she wanted to know what she could do with it. So I showed her how she could turn the car uh, turn the pages into cards, so that she got the benefit of buying the papers and um, got to be able to make, um, we ended up making four really lovely cards out of the kit so she was really happy with that. So I'll have it all up on my blog, I'll show you the page and then I'll show you the cards that we made from that particular page. So then you just add that. How quickly did that come together? And then we'll just take three of our little sparkly gems and just put them across the top. And that's it, there's the card. So I'll just show you the other Cards. Oh, where have I put them here? These were the other four cards that we also made using that same, the same paper out of the out of the um, out of the kit. So that's what I came up with for the lady. She was really happy on the day. So I hope you enjoyed this class, uh, this um, do uh, video. <laughs> Till next time, keep on creating, and bye for now. Thank you.